Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, yeah, and I hope you lot are all doing well today, man. I really do hope that, but I'm going to be honest, bro, I am super tired, so if a few points of this video I'm not making much sense, or perhaps I don't sound as bright as usual, it's because man is completely knackered. But anyway, I wanted to do a video today because there is a big headline, man, or certainly a really interesting piece of information that circulated around football media regarding Ousmane Dembele, the World Cup winning Frenchman, aged only 23 years old, player of Barcelona of course, they bought him for loads and loads of money and apparently they're gonna sell him or they're willing to sell him for 37 million pounds. What? This is obviously just another one of these headlines that we don't know whether to believe or not and it might be nonsense, but the truth is it's all round football media, man. So of course, we have to talk about it. Chelsea have been linked to Ousmane Dembele before and he's an incredibly talented young footballer, very young footballer. Like I said, for a 23 year old World Cup winner who was sold for like 145 million pounds to be potentially sold for 37 million. That headline is worth talking about, especially due to the player being linked to Chelsea before. And also I want a quick shout out to Superman, <laughs> the Superman of the moment, Kai Havertz, who scored yet another brace, four goals and two games since the resumption of the Bundesliga, obviously been linked to Chelsea. He's come out and talked about his future as well. So let's have a few words on Kai Havertz. But if you want to do your boy a favor, why not subscribe to Football Therapy if you like daily content regarding Chelsea Football Club. Takes a second, hit that bell notification icon as well, as that is important. And yeah, please do like the video because hopefully, hopefully you like the content. All right, let's get into it. Before we talk about this crazy Ousmane Dembele headline, let's have a quick word on the young Germanic superstar Kai Havertz. Now, Kai Havertz has been excellent for a long time. There's this sort of buzz at the moment that everyone only thinks he's good because they've started watching a couple of games of the Bundesliga and he scored some goals. No, no, the truth is Kai Havertz has been sick for a while. The last couple of seasons, he's been explosive. Man glides like Kaká. Very, very exciting young player indeed. And he's, trust me, he's not only just surfaced to the scene. Now, of course, he plays for Bayer Leverkusen, which are a big club in Germany, but they're not the biggest club in Europe. And some of the European elite clubs, well, most of them would absolutely take Kai Havertz, a player who can play in the number 10, centre forward role, inside forward, etc. I've done more videos on Kai before and talked about his numbers. Go back and watch them. I've talked about him quite recently as well, how I think he could be the perfect option for Chelsea Football Club as he could play the number nine, as well as just be a versatile auxiliary forward playing pretty much anywhere in the front line. Do I just keep saying front line? Anyway, being interviewed after his second consecutive brace uh, over two game weeks, he's pretty much said, look man, well, they were generic like PR responses. Very happy for Bayer Leverkusen, they've been very good to me, but we will see what happens in the summer, insinuating maybe, maybe not, but probably. <laughs> of course, you got Michael Ballack coming out saying, dude should stay at Bayer, but truth is, man, money talks. Difficult financial market, clubs want money. If someone comes in with 100 million for Kai Havertz, Leverkusen might just say, thank you very much. Of course, I'll keep you posted here on Football Therapy, so see that you do swing by daily for updates. Ding. All right, let's talk about Ousmane Dembele, man, because it's crazy. He had that explosive season, I think three years ago at Dortmund. I think he only played one season there. And in 2017, when the player would have been about 19, 20, Barcelona signed him from Dortmund for a deal worth 135 million pounds. Apologies if at the top of the video I said 145 million. Remember I said I'm really tired? Yeah, that's still the case. But 135 million when he was 20 years old, not 19, tired, is incredible. Incredible. Sure, he had an explosive season in the Bundesliga in terms of creating goals. But damn, to go in for a youngster for 135 million, that screams, oh my god, we need to replace Neymar now. So, what do we know about Ousmane Dembele? 
Well, we know he is an incredibly talented footballer, obviously won the World Cup. He's got mad, mad techers, an insanely talented dribbler, can play at the absolute highest level, and of course is only 23 years old, so young, it feels like he's been around for like ages now. And we also know that dude is made of balsa wood slash glass. He's had so many injury woes, feel kind of bad for the player. His last two seasons have been riddled with injuries, having to have surgeries, putting him out. But, you know, if people can look at him and say, yeah, he's had loads of injury problems, but hopefully the latest surgery has put him in good stead to actually recover and have a career in football because he's so, so young, then he could be an amazing purchase, especially at the age of 23 years old and especially at the price of 37 million pounds. Dude, that is 100 million pounds off. 100 million pounds off the purchase that Barcelona paid for him, and he's only 23, so he's like nowhere near his prime yet. So you say the catch is the injuries. Possibly, I suppose you'd be taking a risk. Maybe they're selling him for 37 because they're like, this dude is never gonna be fit. You know, let's get something while we can. Also, there's the idea of an attitude problem. The dude apparently is addicted to video games. You know, no one likes a bad attitude. I mean, hopefully you think if Chelsea went to buy them, the Chelsea lads play video games, but they will balance it perfectly with football training and with Frank Lampard, who's an inspirational figure, but also a bit of a disciplinarian. Hopefully we could get him into shape, maybe. Personally, right? There is a lot of worrying conditions, the attitude slash addicted to video games slash the constant injuries, but you can't look away from a hundred million pounds off a 20 year old player, 23 year old player. He's 23, Jesus, wake up, Jan. Am I right? Surely I am right. Lionel Messi recently said the player is a phenomenon, like people see him do incredible things, in form and fully fit, Ousmane Dembele is like world-class talent. World-class talent that could cost the same price as Danny Drinkwater. Jesus, man. But there were also reports a month or so ago that Lionel Messi came out and it said he would rather Barcelona sell Ousmane Dembele over Philippe Coutinho, who of course was on loan at Bayern. Interesting. Why does he think that? Because he thinks Philippe Coutinho can actually offer something when he's worried about the injury wo woes of Ousmane Dembele. Hmm. The thing is, man, I don't know how to think. Because if Chelsea sign Ousmane Dembele and he's fit and good to go and the club's like, evaluated his like current mental state and they're like, okay, he's ready to play football, he can do this, then I would be stoked if Chelsea bought Ousmane Dembele for a lot of money. Probably not, you know, anywhere near what Barcelona bought him for. But if Chelsea bought Ousmane Dembele for like, I don't know, 70 million pounds, and that is still basically half price of what Barcelona paid for him, and he's only 23 years old, can I remind you, the World Cup winner, then I'd be like, cool, man. That's dope. Sick player. Wicked. Let's have him. Let's win the Premier League. <laughs> Might be a little bit hyperbolic there, but you know what I'm saying. But 37 million, like there's, there's something stinks about this, but it's a headline that's all over the gaff, man. So I really, really, really don't know what to think about this one. So I'm gonna turn it over to you guys. How do you feel about Ousmane Dembele, World Cup winner, superstar, super talented dribbling, attacking wide forward can play, probably like, you know, prime Ousmane Dembele in shape. You'd, you'd suddenly feel like, oh, you know, who needs Sancho when you got that? And but I just don't know what to think. Tell me what you think. Get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts and feelings on this player. I want to hear it. Would you have him? How much would you be willing to pay for him? Let me know. Also, let me know your thoughts on Kai Havertz. I think maybe just because he might be available in the summer doesn't necessarily mean that Chelsea Football Club will be able to secure the young forward. Still, let me know your thoughts on that as well. And if you've enjoyed the content I provided for you guys today, Please do like the video, well, that means a lot. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you are indeed new, and you can also follow me on social media at FootballYannick. 
That's it from me, you lot. Enjoy the football that's happening in Germany at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me,